My name is Les Moncrief and uh, I'm an acupuncturist, registered acupuncturist working for the provincial government for 35 years now. Um, I've been working in the field of addictions and more specifically I started out in detox and pretty much ended in detox centers. In 1999 I learned a specific type of acupuncture which is called Korean hand therapy. And what's interesting about Korean hand therapy is that it's what's called a microsystem and the whole body is on the hand. And um, I can treat pretty much anything in the body simply by well, treating the hand. Uh, many different techniques for treating the hand. One can use little needles, you can use moxibustion, which is uh, applying heat to different points, points of the hand. There's uh, one of the unique aspects is that Korean hand therapy uses a, a method of using what they call Korean hand pellets. Now these pellets are simply electrodes. And by placing an electrode on a particular point on the hand, I can treat that a corresponding part of the body. And over the years, I never cease to be amazed at how effective it is. I can treat a tooth pain simply by applying a silver electrode to a point which corresponds to my teeth or my mouth. It'll, it'll show up as a tender spot on my finger. I can treat um, neck problems by treating the back of the finger, which corresponds to the neck. Low back pain, or even low back pain here. So it's... Um, over the years, I've uh, not only been impressed, but I started using that method of using electrodes on different or different microsystems around the body. First, it was the ear. Found it was really good for, say, for example, liver pain. Simply putting a, a silver electrode on a point that corresponds to the liver. And then I learned a, a very unique and powerful style of acupuncture called tongue style acupuncture. And again, they use a lot of foot points and a lot of hand points, and in fact, they have microsystems throughout the body. So, exploring a little further, I started applying these electrodes to different points in the, on these other microsystems, largely the hand and the feet. And ultimately, I started using these electrodes, the, both copper and silver uh, metal electrodes, on the fingers and the toes. And the fingers and the toes are interesting. They're called Jing Well points. The Jing Well points of the body in Chinese medicine are the end points and the beginning points of, of meridians. And by simply placing a, an electrode here on the little finger, which corresponds to a point called small intestine one. Small intestine one means that the energy starts here. It's the starting point of that particular meridian. And it goes through the small intestine, across the body, actually, through the small intestine and up to the face, and it connects with what's called the bladder meridian. And the bladder meridian ends up at the foot, on the little toe, on the opposite side of the hand, or on the opposite side of the body, rather. Now, by simply placing an electrode here, it affects this particular channel, but also it connects, it affects the connecting channel as well. So I can treat anything along that channel, as well as along the bladder channel, which goes down the back and, and so on. So this was um, the beginning of my understanding of what I, what I term bioelectrode therapy. Now bioelectrode therapy is a more advanced um, technique of simply using copper and silver electrodes to treat almost virtually anything in the body. Any imaginal ailment can be treated by simply placing electrodes on the fingers and the toes. But being that I work in the field of addictions, I began using it for people who were in, uh, well, acute withdrawal. Uh, acute withdrawal in particular from opioids. I call it the opioid tonification protocol. So simply by putting electrodes on one foot, usually the left foot for men and the right foot for women, uh, and the opposite side hand, um, I can virtually eliminate the withdrawal, excruciating painful withdrawal effects from opioids. If people understand that you can actually eliminate the withdrawal, the excruciating effects of uh, opiate withdrawal simply by placing um, electrodes on the fingers and the toes, um, well, I would think perhaps many more people would be uh, willing to uh, experience and go through a painless withdrawal process.